Hey, buddy. <laughs> So the plan is, I guess, to get this thing fixed as quick as possible. I don't know exactly what transmission I want to go with, whether I go with a built one or just try and find a, a used one and go the cheapest route. But uh, if I keep it, I'm definitely going to throw a built one in there. But they're like five grand. So I don't know. I guess y'all let me know what y'all think because it's going to be I at least a month. I'm going to get the gray Chevy going first, put a 4L60 in it and just be able to daily that one and this one can sit for a little bit but uh yeah y'all let me know what you think and if anybody knows like what that if that sound is something like a specific part that breaks and there's something and you've heard it before leave down in the comments because you know i mean you just lost fourth gear going down the road barely on it so in the trailer but yeah it wasn't nothing heavy just had a mower and a little six by 12 open trailer and it was making like a weird ass whining yeah it was like a hot, one of like the humming. hydro pump was like starving or was i don't know a lot of pressure going through it was making a whining noise when we went to the lake so when it ain't a hydro like, pump it, it ain't a zero turn buddy it's, that's it's all this man knows going through it, something. <laughs> but, uh, slave and master cylinder i don't know y'all leave what you think Alright guys, fucking figuring out how to do a bypass on the coolant. So we're gonna use some parts from this and figure something out, weld a couple plugs up and whatnot and we'll figure it out. But uh, it's gonna be a little plug. Yeah. This is what we got. Got this stuff cleaned up. Gonna try and do some nice welding. But uh, this plug came out of the top of here, so I'm going to figure out somehow to, I'm either going to take this out and weld a plug in there, or cut this off and weld it up, or just figure out something to maybe go around that and just keep it from popping off of there. Alright guys, so um, this is pretty much the setup for the coolant bypass. Uh, that's Nothing's really hooked up right now, but... That's how this is gonna work. Um, just having some problems with the downpipe. 
it won't really line up um, with the turbo so we might it's hitting on the frame and on the transmission a little bit so we might have to beat it in or do something um, to get it to fit this sick mod to this turbo it's maxed out now turbo max that's how you get more boost out of them but guys what's up this thing is uh almost done but right now we're fucking around with this intake uh the thing that came with it only has one for the um air intake temperature and we need one for the mass airflow uh, down pipes on but also the exhaust doesn't really you probably won't be able to tell but it's about an inch too low so we're going to have to cut this up there and weld it so it goes in with this thing you can kind of see how much higher that pipe is so we'll have to figure something out there for that but that's what's holding us back right now it's a uh, small problems that are kind of a pain in the ass and are going to take a little bit to get sorted all right guys we've got a custom intake right here so hopefully this thing will work. This intake came off of a third gen. That's what I got the kit off of. And it didn't have like the mass airflow sensor. It just had this temperature gauge. Well, at least that's what this one is on the 6.7. I don't know where the third gen one mass airflow went, but that's how we got it rigged up. We drilled a hole and um, Got yeah. some silicone and the bolts in there. Um, but got it nutted off. This this shit like seventy they, the dude said at the machine shop seventy five bucks to do this, so this is like free basically. I couldn't find a so, bung like this. I was looking for yeah. a metal bung to weld on there for the mass airflow center with a big hole, or whatever. And uh to do it ourselves we really needed like a lathe to really get the curve on the piece of steel or whatever, but uh yeah, we're gonna try and run this. Hopefully, it'll work. If it if it doesn't work, then fuck it. We'll have to just. There's a thirty. The those things are thirty five dollars on there, so we can just get one of those. Slapping her on here though. We got this in the down pipe, and we can crank her. Put oh, and put coolant in here. Don't yeah. forget that. Yeah, no need for coolant. All right, put some coolant in it. Still don't have the down pipe connected all the way, but fuck it. And. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also, Jacob lost the adapter for the EGT probe, so fuck nah, it. y'all fucking lost it. Nah, you, I'm not you. looking for it. We do. Apparently, we lost the EGT. No, he looked at me. What, what did I lose? No, one yeah. of y'all either. No, he looked at me. What did I lose? The EGT probe fucking adapter. Read yeah, this I'm, manual. I, I haven't seen it. And Never it. seen it once, but anyways. I've seen two wires <laughs> in that box in the manual. He handed me. Yeah. Beep. He Only he two wires box. were in the box. Well, nice, <laughs> nice job. All right, go. Start it. Yeah, it was.
down here, boys. Headed to the lake. Got a big old storm brewing where we're going. Fuck you, chick. About to get a takeoff. Right, man, props. All right, boys. Get the gates, ah. Uh, come on, man. Get on it. Thank you. 